Good evening, all, and uh, wish you all a very happy Holi. Uh, by the way, if you're not in India, Holi is a festival of colors. It's a very auspicious day where we remove all the evils and burn it. So let, let us burn all the evil and all the loss making in stock market and uh, start making billions, if not millions, we will make thousands, all right? So, but never lose in the stock market. So with this uh, statement, uh, this is your own Raghu. And I took some time to bring this video because uh, uh, before before I bring in the video, I want you to bring a high probability videos, right? That, that's my way of thinking. If you have seen all my strategies, everything works across all the markets. Now, this strategy is a unique strategy. It's a magic of two minutes with Cambrilla pivots and the moving average. If you have not seen all, all my videos, please do watch. They're all high probability videos where you can make one is to two, one is to four returns uh, with Indian market as well as uh, across instrument, which has a uh, very high liquidity, right? Now, this, this video is for scalping where people uh, uh, who does not have patience or when market is highly volatile, say for example, uh, due to the ongoing uh, global, uh, you know, negative news uh, due to war between Ukraine and Russia, market is highly volatile since last two, three weeks. Maybe uh, how to beat this volatility. One is a trading psychology. Another one is having a, a high probability uh, trading setups. Now, this is one of the setups. Now, quickly, you, you need to know Candela pivots. Now, if you're new watching this new Candela pivots or magical pivots where uh, it says below R3 is selling, below R4 is selling. You can call R3, R4, H5, whatever. Don't don't bother too much about terminologies. Just, just understand these are the Cambrilla pivots. We don't want R1, R2, S1, S2. The setup is as it is what I'm showing you. Now, below R3 is selling, below R4 is selling. Above R4 is a breakout, understand. Similar to pivots, S3 is buying. S4 is buying, below S4 is breakout. The last level of resistance is S5 and S6. Now, the strategy has two minutes time frame, 20 days simple moving average, and 50 days simple moving average. Now, based on the Cambrilla, Cambrilla is the soul of this because it will tell you what is the trend and your trade will be only with the trend. And I want 20 MA anyway, when 50 MA and 20 MA is about trend is up. If any candle come closer to 20 MA, you can take the trade. There's nothing wrong about it. Just take the trend, trade with the trend. Like here, it was a huge gap up. Market comes down closer to 20 MA, buy it, market goes up. All right, your, strat your stop loss will be below 20 MA. So that should be a strategy. Remember this point. And the next trade will be whenever 20 MA and 50 MA comes very closer. And if a candle is breaking above, you will take the trend. Trend is upside, huge gap up. So here you will not have any trade. Watch this one, 20 and 50 MA, 50 are very closer. And when it breaks upside, you will be taking the trade. Counter trade, I'm not suggesting any counter trade because this strategy works best with Trend. If you understand uh, the range bound, if you know it's a range bound market is, uh, you know, trading between up and down, you, you can attempt uh, counter trades, but counter trades needs experience. So I'm not advising you to take any counter trade. This is another sideway market. What is above R4? Above R4 is a breakout. You know, it's a breakout. So here, when the price comes closer to 20 MA, we don't have any candle breaking 20 MA. It breaks here, but the reversal pin bar will suggest you it is going downside. Experienced pro traders know market went up. This is a hanging man or a evening star pattern with a reversal pin bar and a red bar closing below the previous green bar. So they wouldn't take a trade. But if you're new, I'm advising you, just watch all my videos. You will be a pro in uh, trading. Now here, how would you take this trade? Above R4 is a breakout. Market is coming down with this price action. I want 20 MA to cross above 50 MA. Now here also you'll be taking the trade here because 20 MA is crossing here. But with experience, if a strong candle breaks 20 MA and 50 MA, you can take the second point with the trend. Trend is upside. When you have this, you will take the trade. What is your stop loss? Below 20 MA or one is to two. 
again about 20 ma take the trade i'm not suggesting you any counter trades here i want with the trend market is running parallel parallel when a candle closes about 20 ma and 50 ma here you can take a trade scalp it this is a scalping strategy understand with the experience in how to trade in range bond you will understand why i am not suggesting counter trade series watch i want you to take the counter trade with the pivots only now this is r3 below r3 is selling but what do you see here the first candle is a reversal pin bar you know people are buying here when you see this 50 and 20 ma you will wait and here i just want to add a little context if you know cambrilla pivots what is this r3 and s3 is here and today's r3 and s3 is here they are wide don't worry about it so this shows that market is in uptrend so at least at the beginning of the day most of the people will be bullish because of this sharp up move so you will wait here you will wait here for the crossover to happen <clears throat> market comes down comes down here you get a big red candle breaking 20 ma and 50 ma you enter go till here book it <clears throat> once r3 is broken you know market is down so you will wait market is down in the sense below r3 is selling right above r3 is buying that is how the market participant perceives this so if you want scalp you scalp but as per this strategy you will wait patiently again when a candle breaks 20 ma and 50 ma and above r3 you're going to scalp now watch here after this high is hit this this morning high was broken you have a double top market comes here it's coming down so when you use the market context price action what do you understand so you understand there is a overhead resistance right which this input below r3 first attempt fails second attempt when the 20 ma and 50 ma are coming very closer below r3 when the market closes if you take the trade you can wait for range breakout if you take because this range is broken with a very strong red candle you can target s3 s3 is buying right s3 is buying so below 20 m even if you have taken here below r3 r3 market is coming down below r3 but 20, 50 ma is broken see here market has broken market is in uptrend after market whenever you watch a chart everybody will think he is a pundit do not do that in real time market it will be like this see here once 20 ma uh, break came down below r3 is selling but it took support here right why it is taking support because you have a very strong bar here if you see here this is where it's taking support anyway the objective of this trading is whenever you see upper resistance and r3 cambrilla is broken more than twice or thrice you need to consider that a fort is trying to get breached first attempt the fourth stands second attempt it becomes little weaver third attempt it becomes more weaver fourth attempt it will be broken i mean that is how you need to relate a support and resistance no support is forever no resistance is forever understand so but still when you range is broken you have a high probability you have see here trend reversed you have a parallel lines 20 ma and 50 ma is running parallel in two minutes follow this stop loss whenever it comes below follow 20 ma you will make a lot of money watch this one last last two charts so above r3 is buying so as per our strategy we will wait for price to come closer to 20 ma it breaks 20 ma 50 ma is holding when the candle goes about 20 ma you see r3 pivot there so the beauty of this is with pivot and with 20 ma you know for sure there is a lot of trading because a lot of people watch pivots a lot of people just use moving averages and both will enter here see market goes up 
it's parallel. You can hold it with the below 20 MA support or whenever 20 MA goes above, it's up to you. But you know with R3 and when this is in parallel, market is in uptrend. We have a lot of overlapping candle which will be eating premium. But still you can hold it and if you use little context, you will understand, okay, this is the range. But 20 MA is not even coming closer to 50 MA. It is running in parallel. So with this big red candle, once you see the big inside green candle, you will know that, okay, this is not going to break. Bias are very strong because R3 and S3 is above previous day R3 and S3. See, S3, R3 is here. And this R3, S3 is inside, sorry. This is a very classical inside Cambrilla pivots. Inside Cambrilla pivots always gives a breakout. You need to understand. Inside Cambrilla pivots are something like narrow CPR and inside CPRs. So today's R3S3 is within yesterday's R3S3. Although they're overlapping, see how market went? Just slowly went up. So you can keep on this particular day below pivot. See above R4 is a breakout. You know above R4 is a breakout. So if you just follow here, since both 20 MA and 50 MA is closer, okay, I will just wait uh, whenever 50 MA breaks or whenever 20 MA breaks and whenever candle goes about 20 MA, if it keeps scalping, you can make a lot of money. If you are a pivot trader, altogether, you will follow a different methods. With 20 MA and 50 MA, follow this. And this is the last chart. So whenever price is between R3 and S3, you need to understand it is slightly range bound and as said, I'm not going to take any trade for this strategy. I want the distance between 20 and 50 MA to come very close and then give a breakout. This is where the breakout happened. So in this breakout, if I take, I have the scalping opportunity till here. So price goes up, yes, but again, when it comes down, I have the scalping opportunity till here. Now, why this is scalping opportunity? Because it works better in scalping so you need to understand. So when 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 do you see a trend? When 20 MA and 50 MA is running in parallel, you see a trend. Watch this one, the last one. Above R4 is breakout, but it is way too high, like yesterday, way too high gap up. Wait for price to come closer to 20 MA because 50 MA is below. So you can take a trade here, target one is to two or to the next pivot. When a candle closes here, exit, wait here. Now when this happens, a big gap up, and uh, the distance is coming closer and you see some uh, decent side red bars closing and a failed breakout, you have a very high probability for reversal. Very high probability. See here, trend reversed. Go to the uh, R5, R5 breaks, it's still below 20 MA, just go. Go with 20 MA. This is bank nifty where you can make <laughs> one is to two, one is to four times profit. And if you follow this, you may you may need some time for practice, but with practice, there's nothing, no setup which you can master uh, just like that. Even if I say, or even if uh, Warren Buffett or whoever, the uh, Jesse Livermore, who is considered as the greatest trader comes and tells you that this is how it works. You need practice when in real time, when you are trading your positional size, your money, uh, your tensions will play on your head. But for two minutes, I'm sure you can overcome your tensions and uh, two minutes always have very less stop loss. And this can be your holy grail where you can make a lot of money. Thank you all. Have a good day, guys. Please do subscribe, share, like. I mean, whenever I bring a video, I'll bring you more on strategies. There is one more video on fundamentals which can work like a charm for all the investors. I've been working with this, consulting my chartered accountant friends and experienced traders who are investors. Because honestly, I am not an investor. I'm still a baby in terms of investment. I'm a day trader. So uh, I just cannot bullshit uh, uh, whatever I want on this channel. So I'm just back testing it for last two years because they have provided me inputs, but I am just testing them with various stocks from uh, USA stocks 
to Indian stocks, whichever stocks are bigger, I'm just back testing them. That's a reason I'm taking some time. There are five fundamentals uh, which you need to follow, which can tell you uh, how to spot a high probability stock for investment. Investment means long term, right? Two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years. So how you can spot and how you can spot that, that your investment is uh, weakening. So it's not just about spotting the investment. When the stock grows after five years, six years, does it have the same potential to continue for next five years? Now, these, these kind of things needs a lot of experience and I'm learning it and I'm going to bring that with you very soon. Thank you all, please to support us and encourage us to bring you more strategic videos. Have a good day. Happy Holi once again.